Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to import your credit card transactions into QuickBooks Online. I'll show you how to both establish a direct connection between QuickBooks Online and your credit card account so that transactions are transferred over daily, and then we'll cover how to transfer them in via a file like a spreadsheet or a QuickBooks Online file that you can download from your credit card company. So let's start on our QuickBooks dashboard. So from the dashboard, let's go to Transactions and Banking. Here you'll see we've already set up our checking account. Now we're going to set up our credit card account. So to link our credit card account, let's go to Link Account. And then we need the name of our bank. So as you can see here, they have 20,000 local and international banks. So more than likely, your bank will be listed. If not, you actually may want to, to find a bank that is listed because this is one of the most convenient features of QuickBooks Online. So uh, we're going to connect an American Express personal credit card. So we'll click here. Okay, and at this point, I need to enter my credentials in order to access my web account. So prior to doing any of this, make sure that you have online access to your credit card account because what happens is QuickBooks Online uses your username and password to essentially log into your account and import any transactions on a daily basis. So um, on my other monitor here for security reasons, I'm going to log in and then I'll transfer it back to your monitor. One more second. Okay, so here we go. So QuickBooks is now connecting with American Express. So which American Express account do I want to connect? I want to connect the one ending in 2000. Now, enter an account type. Actually, it says account type, but really what it's wanting to know is which account in your chart of accounts do you want to connect this to? So credit card accounts, I haven't set up an account for the American Express yet, so let's go ahead and click Add New. So I'm going to add a new account to my chart of accounts. So the, the account type is a credit card. Detail type is credit card. The name of the account, I'm going to call it Amex X2000, meaning it ends in 2000. So very um, detailed name so I know exactly what it is when I look at it in my chart of accounts. Okay, so the most important thing here is that you have the account type and the detail type is credit card and then name it whatever makes sense to you. So save and close. Okay, there we go. So now we're mapping my American Express Blue Cash Everyday ending in 2000 to the chart of account um, Amex X2000. So when do we want to pull these transactions from? I'm going to start pulling the transactions um, a custom date. I'm going to start pulling it at the end of my last uh, credit card statement. So I'm going to use 0716 and connect. Okay, now it's transferring the data over. Generally just takes a few minutes. Okay, there we go. All set, ready to go. So now we have two accounts to choose from here. If we make sure the Amex 2000 is highlighted, it's going to show all of the transactions. So it's imported all the transactions from July 16th through today or through yesterday. And so what we need to do is assign a category. And so we have another lesson available for how to manage your bank feed. So this is your bank feed. Um, it pulls in transactions. Uh, it looks to see if there's an existing transaction already entered into QuickBooks. And if so, it'll ask you if you want to match it. Otherwise, you need to assign a category, uh, which is essentially just an expense account. So to learn exactly how to do that, you can Google Fit Small Business Free QuickBooks Online Tutorials. And the tutorial that'll cover that is in uh, part five, managing business credit card transactions, and then how to manage downloaded business card transactions. So I'll click on that. And this is the tutorial that's going to give you more detail on how to manage your bank feed. 
Okay, so that's as easy as it is to connect your credit card. And now every day you can come in. Um, it'll automatically update, but if you come in and you want to make sure it's most up to date, you can just click update here and it'll update again. Okay, very simple. One of the most powerful features of QuickBooks Online. But let's assume now that for whatever reason you don't want to connect the account directly so that the transactions are imported automatically. The other way to do it is to import transactions through computer files. So either through an Excel file or a CSV file um, or there's an actual uh, file ending in .qbo that can make the import very very simple. So let's go ahead. I'm going to disconnect this account so that we can bring in the same transactions using the other method. So edit account info and I'm going to disconnect this account now. So it's going to keep the account I created in our chart of accounts, the Amex X2000, uh, but I'm going to disconnect it from the bank. Okay, so now let's bring in that same set of transactions a little bit differently. Let's go link account, upload from file. Okay, so manually upload your transaction. So you can export uh, from your bank either a CSV, QFX, QBO, OFX, or TXT format. The most common are definitely going to be CSV or QBO. So this is going to be very dependent on your bank. Uh, so go into your bank. Generally in the screen you're looking at your transactions. There will be a button to download them and you can choose generally which type of file to download. So I've already gone into American Express. I've viewed those transactions since July 16th and I chose to download them as a QBO file. So this is the simplest way to import the transactions into QuickBooks is with a QBO file. Um, however, you can just, is it not quite as easily, but you can do it through a CSV file. There's just one extra step we'll talk about in a second. So I've downloaded this QBO file and it's sitting down here in my download bar. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag it right here. Okay, there we go. So um, the second part of the screen on the right, this is if you want to do what we did previously, where if you want to connect the bank account so that the transactions come over automatically, but we're illustrating how to do it manually here. So I've uploaded the file. I'm going to hit continue. Now, which account do you want this to go into? We've already created it, and it's the Amex X2000 account. Okay. Good. And here it actually gives us a description of the transaction. So again, I started it on July 16th. We're going to go continue, import complete, done. And there we go. Here are all the transactions that we can go through and assign. Okay, very simple. Now, if you choose to import them uh, with a CSV file instead of a QBO file, um, and really the only reason to do that would be if a QBO file is not available. But if you do that, the process will be the same. There's just one extra step where you have to help QuickBooks map the columns in your spreadsheet. So each column is a variable or a field for QuickBooks. It's going to ask you to map each column into which field in QuickBooks you want that information to flow. So QuickBooks will take its best guess for most of them. A lot of times it's correct, um, but you need to go through and there will be two columns on the screen. You'll have to map from the CSV column to the QuickBooks Online variable. Not difficult, it's just one extra step. Okay, once you get to this stage, again, this is going to be just like your bank feed. Now you can uh, read the uh, tutorial on how to manage the downloaded credit card transactions and you should be good to go. So again, please check out all of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials just by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So again, my name is Tim Yoder. I'm very glad that you were able to join me this afternoon. I hope that you found this useful and you have a great day.